Hey guys, Mikey here from iTechnify.com and I'm going to be unboxing a motherboard this time and it's going to be Gigabyte P43ES3G. Uh, like other, like all my other videos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you around the box first. Uh, I'm going to tell you the specifications a little later in the video when I actually pull out the motherboard. And if you can't hear me or you want to just skip ahead and just get the specs, please check the info box down below and I shall post everything there. Let's begin. Alright. Front. Left side. Right side. Back. Top. Bottom. Alright, let's dig in. First, I shall show you the insides. You got your Gigabyte user manual, your Intel 4 Series utility DVD, installation guide, SATA cable. These are both your um, storage device cables. This is your SATA and your IDE slash PADA. Uh, that goes on your case is the rear input output panel shield. And you've got your actual Intel P43 ES3G motherboard. Alright, now let's start at the specs of your actual motherboard. First of all, you got your CPU socket LGA775. Um, CPU type and it supports core 2 quad or duo, Pentium dual core, and Celeron. These are all Intel. FSB for your CPU is 1600 OC, 1333, 1066, and 800 MHz. Chipsets you got your Intel P43, Intel ICH10, and memory you got four slots um, for for 240 pin slots they're all they're both they're both well, all four of them are DDR2 and you have 1200 1066 800 and 667 in each one and it supports 16 gigs dual chip. all right and for your expansion slots you have five PCIs um, you have one PCI Express 2.0 16 and you have one PCI Express 2.01 actually this is not 2.0 it's just PCI Express 1 um, storage devices you can hold like I said with the cables you have IDE PADA and there is 6 SATA 3 gigabyte per second and your PADA is, in, there's only one on here, and it's right here. And it's ATA-133-2-DEV-MAX. Alright, now for your onboard specs. You have no onboard video chipset. So you must have a video card. Um, onboard audio is real Realtek. ALC 888 and there is 8 channels. Onboard LAN is Realtek 8111C and it gives you 10 slash 100 slash 1000 megabytes per second. Uh, onboard USB you have um, 6 USB 2.0 slots and they're right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Onboard audio right here. And then last but not least, your onboard LAN would be right here. Now to show you what's on the panel itself, you have your two PS2, and this is this would be your keyboard and mouse um, order, unless you have a USB. You have one COM, one LPT. 
There's the six USBs I was talking about. And you got SPDIF out, which is right here. And you have your three audio. I believe the blue is line in, green is speakers, and then red is your microphone. That's about right. And lastly, I will tell you about your physical specs on this motherboard. You have an ATX form factor, full ATX, uh, dimensions 12 inches by 8.27 inches, and your power tent, your power pin is a 24 pin slot. So if you have a 20 pin power supply, um, it will work in this, but it is recommended that you sure are to buy a cable, and um, I might post a link in the description to a list of these cables. And what it does is it um, it adapts, and it's a pretty much an adapter cable, and it turns your 24 pin to a 20 pin. So you can plug in 20 pins, and it'll come out 24.